Hello guys, if you like my awesome gaming videos, my programming and web development courses, my editing courses and editing videos, and my tech talks and tech guidance, then you can consider subscribing to my channel and click on this bell icon to stay connected with me all the time. So hello guys, welcome to my channel. So in this particular video, I want to show you a very nice trick how you can improve your YouTube video quality and render it to a very high quality video so that it looks good on your YouTube platform. Or if you are a Facebook content creator, it will do the same work for you guys. So I have two videos, one is low and one is high resolution. Okay, so this one, let me play it. Okay, and another one, the high one, I will play it on another platform, which is VLC Media Player. So left one is the low resolution footage that as you can see is low and the right one is the high resolution footage. Okay. So first just watch the low resolution one. Okay. You can see there is a lot of noise, grains, everything there. It doesn't look so good. So how can you make amazing quality videos and render it to the YouTube at a very good quality? So now let's see the high quality videos. As you can see, overall, it looks so good. It doesn't have any noise. It is crisp, it's crystal, and the colors look really nice, and it is very, very sharp. If, if you see in the particular uh, trees, it looks really sharp, okay? As you can see, it looks really sharp. But if you go there, suppose in this particular scene, when you zoom in, as you can see, it is a lot of grainy. It doesn't look good. It looks really bad when you upload it to the YouTube okay because when you upload it to the youtube it compresses and makes the video very low quality okay so in the right hand side as you can see it looks so shiny so bright everything looks super crisp it it is by you can see the difference here when you upload the right video to the youtube it will look really good so you can guess the idea ideology that one is rendered at a low bitrate one is rendered at a high bitrate in premiere pro okay so let's check in the youtube setting that what it does what it tells okay so if you go to the youtube and search support google.com youtube and you just write the best setting and bitrate for youtube then you will go to this site where it will say recommended upload encoding setting so you will go to this section bitrate okay in the bitrate we have three types of video description here one is sdr type of video which you normally record and is in hdr 4k videos and if your uh, camera support or your most monitor support hdr videos if you upload your videos to hdr format then it will compress like this and first see the normal one if your video is 4k 2160p then you can add 30 frames per second this is your video frames per second it can be 24 it can be 25 it can be 60 it can be 30 it can be anything but up to 24 to 23 you can upload up to 35 to 45 mbps to the youtube if your video is rendered in 35 to 45 mbps then you can upload it into youtube and it will look really good okay and suppose if your video bitrate is frame rate is higher like 48 50 and 60 in this case if your video format is 4k 60 fps or 48 or 50 fps then you should render your youtube videos uh, in premiere pro for 53 to 68 mbps then it will look if you upload it on the youtube it would look really good and if you are suppose 1440p if you are uploading your video to 1440p then you will reduce your quality to 16 mbps up to 24 if your video is 60 fps then you should use 24 mbps which is the maximum peak and the lowest is 16 so you have this boundary 16 to 24 if you upload youtube to the 1440p it will give you really good quality if suppose your video uh, is quality you are uploading is 1080p then your quality will reduce heavily like it's only 8 mbps which is not that good quality okay and the maximum is 12 mbps for 60 fps video so it is not that good quality if for a good quality upload you need to upload it minimum to 16 to 24 or 18 to 22 mbps and render in this format in adobe premiere pro so that it looks good on youtube so the main thing that you need to render your videos in high quality okay minimum i will suggest you to 1440p so that you can crank up your mbps it will have more quality on youtube and if you upload it to the 1080p then it will be uh, conserved it would be reduced quality you, it will not look so good so i will suggest you to upload it into 1440p if you possible and if your audio is mono like single channel you should upload it to the 128 kbps if your video is stereo like two speaker you should upload it to the 384 kbps which is standard if your audio is 5.1 channel five speakers and one subwoofer then you should use 512 kbps 
as a quality okay so the bitrate is actually refines the quality of your video in case of audio it is kbps and in case of video it should be mbps most of the time okay so uh, one more example is that this is my recent uploaded youtube video which is uh, as you can see you can go up to 1440p as you can see 1440p 60 fps so it will look really good on youtube as you can see if i render it it looks really crisp really beautiful and you, as you can see the sharpness and amazing quality that you can see so you can compare when you upload this video into 724 format then it will look really bad and it, it will not look so crisp okay so as you can see it looks really crisp really beautiful when you upload with the 1440p uh, and because it has a good codec okay the codec is actually the one that i want to show you the codec is support vp9 which is really high quality codec it also keeps good quality when you upload it to the youtube as you can see it remains very very good quality it will not reduce quality so for that you need to do is just go to the premiere pro and i will show you how we can improve the quality so i'm just opening my uh, premiere pro and opening my recent project so as you can see this is your particular video if you press ctrl plus m uh, if in the windows you will have this open setting this export setting or you can go to the file this file section and go to export and media okay it will open the same box for you so here the main thing is that this is your timeline that you will see what will be rendered okay and here as you can see we have first important thing is export setting this is very important remember that the format should be aced.264 which is really good compression uh, format and in this encoder is mostly used in youtube and many other platform and it is very good and the preset you can uh, you can go up to a max resource uh, in the high bitrate it will render a very high bitrate okay as you can see it is very high bitrate and if you go up to like high quality 4k okay it will uh, render you can change uh, the bit say, bit rate to 200 300 whichever you like which is really crazy you can go up to very good quality okay you can have a setting for youtube 4k as well and youtube 1080p youtube 4k as well so you have so many settings you can change okay so these are the preset settings so after you do that you go to the video section and basic video setting you can change the width to suppose 2560 by 1440p so this is the 1440p resolution whichever as you can see in the source okay source your video is 1080p okay so i'm just converting it to the 1440p the resolution and as you can see the preset changed to custom when i change this thing okay and you just click on use maximum render quality it will increase your encode time but it will keep the good quality when you export it and just click on this render at maximum depth okay so these are the main important setting just change your width and height so that it remains in higher quality than 1080p because your source is 1080p you need to convert it to the 1440p so that you can get a good compression setting onto the youtube when you upload it to that it looks really good okay and when you go to the encoding setting you have performance of uh, hardware encoding which is really good if you had a good uh, cpu and a gpu which is graphics card if you have this you need to enable it so that it renders really faster okay it will help you in rendering your videos really really quickly so keep it to the high profile and channel is 5.1 and the bitrate setting this is a very important part where you keep you can keep up to vbr which is variable bitrate you can uh, up to pass to which will take a very long time to render but i suggest you to maximum time use this one one pass okay and you can when you change everything as you can see in the resolution section basic section here basic video setting if you change it to the 1440p resolution your bitrate setting you can target bitrate you can go up to a lot higher like 200 and more more but in the youtube setting as you can see the youtube setting in for 1440p you should uh, you should be used to 16 mbps for 30 fps videos for 60 fps videos you should use 24 at max so here uh, you should use 24 22 to 24 at max but i keep it a little bit of lower than 24 which is 22 okay so 22 is my perfect choice for 1440p videos when you upload to the youtube okay so in the premiere pro setting you should not go beyond 47 for 1440p videos okay if your videos is 4k then you should uh, crank this up to 44 to 45 to 50 uh, based on this situation you can go up to 68 53 to 68 for 4k videos okay 
so you, you should not do beyond that so it just 20 to 24 is the perfect solution for 1440p videos as you can see it will give you the best possible outcome so you can go to render that and it will look really really good so this is the same thing that i rendered um, here in this particular video in this particular the right one is rendered in 1440p left one is written at 1080p which looks really dull really bad in it looks really blurry i cannot see anything properly like this how bad it is and how good it is it's just huge difference just a huge huge difference okay so the, that's why i'm taking side by side and then you go to the audio section in the audio section you just choose, choose the basic audio you just choose aac and the bitrate is uh, highest bitrate just uh, selected if you want to upload to the studio you can upload it to the studio format but most of the people use that if you have two channel output that you should use that if you have five channel output uh, subwoofer and five speaker then you can use 5.1 which is really high quality and keep the audio quality to high and it will make the audio quality really good and bitrate setting audio has a bitrate setting in the maximum you can go in this premiere pro is 320 and if you change the channel to 5.1 i think you can go beyond that as you can see 573 you can go a lot because the 5.1 channel is a lot better as you can see the 5.1 channel you should uh, or keep the audio better to 512 in the youtube setting and the official setting they provide okay so normally i keep it to 2.0 studio to 2.1 so the maximum 320 is the perfect okay then render to maximum depth and maximum quality just check mark all of this then you can just export it and it will take a little bit of time based on your quality of videos and your hardware acceleration if your processor is very good graphics card is so so good and you have a good ram then it will take a little bit of time to render that so in this way you can make your render quality really really good go if you see the lower quality you cannot see anything it is that bad it is 1080p video but it is low bitrate so that's why i'm clicking on right click and properties and if you go to the detail as you can see it's 60 frames per second video and it is 1080p video but its bitrate is really really low okay only eight uh, eight to nine bitrate but this video's bitrate is so high so high and it looks really amazing when you upload that to the youtube it will look like a charm and your audience would be really happy if you right click on this and go to the properties and in the detail section as you can see it's 1440p videos and i converted 1080p videos to the 1440p so that i get better codec as you can see in the youtube i get better codec if you use this 1440p if we zoom in as you can see we get uh, to view new 4k uploads in 4k use a browser the device vp19 vp19 is the ultimate codec that is very high quality for youtube if you upload it to the 1440p uh, like this resolution 24 bits to 16 bits then you can see good quality videos okay it will not look that sharp look at this how sharp this video is when i upload it to that it is equivalent to the real videos so in this way you can make your videos look really high quality uh, amazing quality into the youtube when you convert to another resolution to higher resolution and it will give the best outcome in the youtube platform while it supports vp19 codec so thanks for watching guys i hope you like this video and give a thumbs up if you like it and share and subscribe and comment as much as possible that how can you make youtube quality much better when you upload within the youtube so thanks for watching i'll be coming with the next video